Hello, welcome to another Max 7 tutorial. This is tutorial number four called More Objects. When last we left off in the fabulous tutorial number three, um, we had discussed the three different kinds of messages in Max, the comment, the message, and the object. And we see them before us here today. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to work with a couple different objects and um, learn their functionality, but almost as importantly, learn how to deal with Max in a, in a sort of fundamental way. So let's uh, get started here. I'm going to just move the metronome object, which you all remember, over here and move these two out of the way for the time being so that we can uh, focus a little better on the metronome object. And I will just, whoo, how nice, zoom in there. Um, so here we have our metronome object at metronome 1000 and let's type the letter T so we get that nice toggle switch there. Of course your patcher is unlocked. Mine was already unlocked. A lot of times when you turn them on they are locked. Um, and so there we have our toggle which will turn on our metronome which will run at 1000 milliseconds or once every second. We'll put a button under here just so we can watch it work. You're all familiar with this. And locking our patcher, I use command E. You can use this little button down here if you want. And here we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Great. Okay. We can, we can say it works. Now we'll just move those up a little bit and let's add another object here. Actually, um, yeah, let's uh, add, uh, whoops, unlock your patcher again, command E, and type the letter N, and now type counter. You should see it show up in the sort of uh, text prefill uh, down here, and at any point if you just uh, double click on that it'll give you the counter now we have some arguments to make here so just hit the space bar so we can start the first argument the first argument with counter is whether it counts up down or both ways zero is counting upward uh, one is counting downward and two is counting both ways how would you know that you would check it in reference later but we have more time for that and now we're gonna put in here a minimum number so we're gonna start counting at one and we're going to count up to 10. Okay, so another space and a 10. And click outside that and we have our counter ready. So let's move our counter over here and connect it to the bang. So the outlet of the bang goes to the inlet of the counter. And now below the counter, we in the left hand outlet, we're gonna type the letter I for integer and connect the outlet of the counter to the inlet of integer and just for fun we are going to put another one of these boxes um, I like to option click on things so I can get the exact same one but you could also just type I again and I'm gonna connect that to the very right hand outlet and we'll see what that does in a second Okay, well, we'll see what that does momentarily, let's say. Okay, in about 10 seconds. So here we go, we'll turn, we lock our patcher and turn on the metronome, and there it is counting away, and down here we see the counter is getting them to six, seven, eight, nine, boom. There's a one there now, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom, two. So this tells us how many times um, since it's been reset that it's counting up to the maximum number. And we can control those numbers, um, uh, you know, what it counts from and to. You could count only, you know, exclusively from 99 to 101 if you wanted to. Um, we can change those. So let's stop our counter here for a minute. And what I notice is that um, if you wanted to count from uh, 1 to 100, uh, we would be here for 100 seconds. And I know that 
many of you are so busy you don't have time for that so let's uh, learn how to change our metronome here which is set at 1000 now the easiest way to change the metronome would be to double click inside here uh, again with your patcher unlocked so command E to unlock your patcher double click inside here and let's change it to uh, 500 okay so now if we lock our patcher and turn it on you'll see it will it's going about twice a second every 500 milliseconds well um, going about it in that way is kind of a pain in the neck to have to always open your patcher and change that number so what we can do um, is change this number by using this right inlet so let's um, actually just let's leave it running and um, unlock our patcher again in Macs when things are actually running they'll just keep right on running when it's unlocked even though you can edit them so let's type um, a message here and say um, 250 and then let, let's make another message that says uh, 2000 oops I didn't get a message where is it M okay two thousand okay and we'll connect those to the right hand inlet there and lock our patcher and let's see what happens we'll click 250 and look at it go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fast four times a second 250 milliseconds and now we'll hit the 2000 which is every 2000 milliseconds or once every two seconds it changes the number fantastic now those of you who have had too much coffee can choose 250 and those of you who have not yet woken up can use 2000 fantastic um, and there are other ways that we can um, adjust this as well let's uh, find another object real quick so let's unlock this patcher and we're gonna go up here to the top where it says sliders these are very commonly used and a slider is like a big potentiometer I'm gonna pick the first one here which is also the slider that you would get if you just type the letter S and there it is a slider I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit here to accommodate all of our parts okay so the slider is very nice and uh, we can adjust its size to fit where we want to be here so I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller and a little bit fatter so it's easier to see there it is and I'm just gonna put it up above here and connect it to the metronome oh no let's let's delete that cord um, and let's delete these two they're kind of in the way let's put a number box under there type the letter I because we'd like to see what it is that our slider is telling our metronome we don't want it communicating in secret without us seeing what's going on so there we go and as we can see our metronome still running and let's see what our slider does if we poke it at the bottom they're very low numbers and now these numbers oops these numbers down here at the bottom as you can see are just running like crazy um, that's because four one thousandths of a second is pretty fast it's about the time it takes your hard drive to go find something if you have a good hard drive so let's uh, turn this up to the very top that's 127 almost 128 which would be excuse me 125 would be an eighth of a second so every one second we get eight pulses out of this and that seems to be about right um, or if we turned it down to a hundred we would get it once every 10 seconds and <clears throat> then we would know that this is actually counting seconds over here in this box the carry count so there we go we've got our 82 83 84 okay you know it seems to me though that this is not a particularly useful set of numbers for 
the slider to have. So let's unlock our patcher, click on our patcher, and go edit our patcher's behavior. Our, our, not our patcher, our slider's behavior. And the way we do that is we go over to the inspector, click on this I if you haven't done so already. Whoops, I closed mine. There it is, open again. And over here in this area is where we find um, all of the attributes of the slider object. Um, make sure that you go across here and click on all so that because uh, it can sometimes it'll just be the basic ones, the you know layout, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But we want them all. So here they all are. And we're going to scroll down here to, let me see if I can zoom down here so you can get a better view. Um, there we go. So down there at the bottom, you're going to see, whoa, stop, 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 stop zooming. OK. Um, I'm going to have to <laughs> zoom out a little tiny, just a little, so that I can see the numbers. OK, so um, in the range, we have a 128, which is great for MIDI, not great for timing. So double click on it and change that to 5,000. OK, why 5,000? Well, because 5,000 milliseconds is about five seconds, and I can't think anybody would want to go any slower than that. Our output minimum is zero, which means that when our slider's at the bottom, it's going to put out a zero. It's going to go 5,000 steps from there, and for every step, it will multiply it by one. Okay, so let's zoom back out here and see if we have indeed applied that to our slider. So we're going to click in our patcher, lock our patcher, and move that slide up and down. And you can see it goes all the way up to 4,999 <coughs> and it goes all the way down to 0. Now, if we were really smart, knowing that 0 divided by 1,000 is a problem for metronome and it can't fire um, every 0 milliseconds, what we'll do is change this to a 1, and we will also address this sort of silliness that we want to go up to five seconds and it's only at 4,999. The reason is that it has 5,000 steps and it included the number zero. So let's go back over there, whoops, unlock our patcher, click on the slider, go back over there. I'm not going to zoom this time. I'm just going to change the output minimum to one. And that's it. I'll come back and lock the patcher and let's see what we get here. Output minimum is one, thank goodness, no divide, uh, trying to divide zero, and it goes up to 5,000. So now we have a way to control the speed of our metronome that, oops, sorry, lock my patcher, turn the metronome on, and we can go quite fast for those of us in a hurry, and we can go quite slow for those of us who are taking it a little more easy. Okay, very good. Uh, that's about once every two seconds. How about once every five seconds? Let's wait here and I'll just zoom a little bit so we can see it. Boom! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Boom! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Fantastic. So that was the slider and the counter. And I will get on um, with how to modify those in the next video, uh, just so this one doesn't run too long. So patch well, and I'll see you in tutorial five.